What is up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge with a little post-game instant reaction video as the Sooners are Big 12 tournament champs. The Big 12 still runs through Oklahoma, period, okay? And this team uh, today against Texas gets a little revenge from the regular season series as they win 5-1 to one in another game where the Sooners start off getting runs early. Uh, and huge for this game to get that two spot right off the bat. You start Maxwell, pitches a great game, and, you know, every time te well, the one time Texas did score, oh, you answered back with a couple more. So uh, this team looks to be uh, playing a little bit freer to me. I, I don't know, but uh, what a performance in this uh, tournament, and they are your Big 12 champs once again. Yeah, what a statement to make uh, going into Selection Sunday tomorrow night uh, to defeat the number one team in the country, really lead the entire way, uh, put up two runs in the first inning uh, again. And you you said it, the team's playing a lot more freely right now. They are playing like the Oklahoma everyone is used to in softball world uh, right now. And, I mean, Texas continues to make errors. That seems to be uh, their biggest uh, weakness for a team that's been really dominant the entire year. And Oklahoma tonight took advantage of every single air Texas had. They score some runs off of them. Well, and that, if you look at Oklahoma, when they've won three national championships, there's two things for sure that are, is always happens. If a team makes an error, they capitalize. And the other one is this, which you're seeing now, in the Big 12 tournament, hopefully it continues. But the two out hits and the timely hits that they weren't getting in the regular season, they got uh, today especially. And in this tournament, they've been doing pretty well with two outs. So uh, I think uh, maybe uh, – you don't want to use the term they've uh, flipped a switch because I don't like that term. But they, they seem like uh, they're back to this is what they're used to doing and – this is their time now. It's the postseason, and, hey, the Big 12 still runs through Oklahoma, and the Natty still runs through Oklahoma. And I'll tell you this. If you get the pitching performance that you got from Maxwell and Deal the last two games, and you get that consistently in the postseason, I mean, there, there's only going to be a few teams, I think, uh, that, that I say could beat them. Now, here's the thing. Will you get that performance? If that's what you got to – I don't know. I mean, you can't say they've got it all year long, but it's been pretty good as of late. And I do think they found something. And, I, Hunter, we've called for it. We've talked about it. Nicole May out of the bullpen. I, she, What she did out of the bullpen today, I mean, what was that, inning and two-third or whatever it was, but uh, her stuff looked really good. Uh, she got him out of the jam there. And uh, I just love to see it. I think she's kind of – she kind of had that mentality of when she came in there, of like, give me the ball. Like, I don't know, something a little different. And look at her stats. I mean, when she goes one time through the lineup, she's been pretty good. It's second or third time through maybe where they get her. But uh, I love it. And I, I personally, just as a fan uh, of Oklahoma, I would love to see her out of the pen uh, as basically her role through the postseason. I think she's. I think she'd be good at it. Yeah, uh, Nicole May struggled as of late, but again, first time through the order, she's been really good. Even in the games in which she struggled, I mean, last weekend, uh, Oklahoma State, it was the first time through the order. She was pitching very well for Oklahoma. It was after that to where uh, it started to get a little bit shaky, and you see it today. Faced five batters, struck out three of them. That is the kind of game that Nicole, Na Nicole May needed. Like yeah. badly for confidence, for the team, just for everything. Uh, some struggling, I mean, worst ERA of her career, which is still, I mean, it's uh, people say it like it's a terrible thing. It's not, it's still pretty good. It's just not as good as it's been uh, over the past three years. And to strike out three out of five against the number one team in the country to get the save, uh, it's massive, and, I mean, it's the perfect time of the year for a performance like that. Yeah, and her stuff was elite. I mean, she was hitting the corners. 
she had the drop right i mean she had it all work screwball i mean uh she looked really good out there and you know offensively we ha- I, i'm not gonna do a video and not talk about ella parker i mean two more hits tonight uh i don't know what she ended up for the series seven for nine or seven for ten some 700 batting average or something that unbelievable uh, burrito had a good tournament as well uh you know tiari had that big hit in the first inning i mean you're starting to see and, and i'll say this this was late in the game and i know Hunter, we've kind of been in a group chat talking about it, and Sidney Sanders has been it's such a struggle. I mean, it's been bad. I mean, I'm just going to say it. it's been bad at the plate, okay? It's been not good. Uh, but she's really good defensively, and I think that's what's, you know, keeping her out there. But the double she had in the last inning, I think – I hope that really catapults her because if you go back to last year, Hunter, the same thing was being said about her last year. Do you remember going yep. into the postseason – and then in the postseason, she had some really good at bats and some really big hits. So I think maybe, maybe if you can get that in the postseason, I mean, all senior fans will be ecstatic because I think that's what you're looking for now. Postseason's here. Uh, maybe that hit will get her into that kind of that that zone. Hopefully, yeah. It seemed like for the past few weeks, the batting average just continues to go down for Sydney Sanders, and to get a double uh, at the end of the game tonight is uh again what you want to see as i mean conference play is over uh final big 12 tournament that's crazy to say uh for patty gasso and the sooners they win it and then i mean i think we also have to mention arguably the player of the game on the offensive side kinsey hansen and two yeah. rbis uh tonight for the senior captain just uh again that those are at bats that a few weeks ago probably wouldn't have went that way. It was those insurance runs that Oklahoma really needs, especially playing the number one team in the country. You have to be able to put additional runs on the board because, uh, I mean, you see it tonight. They shook out 10 times. Uh, Sidley Gutierrez is just a great pitcher for the Longhorns. And uh, it, it's a game where if you're not getting those additional runs just to expand your lead a little bit uh it can go downhill quick on one swing of the bat on the other end yeah and uh an outstanding defensive play by jada coleman uh in sixth inning was huge i mean that could have been an extra base hit and it could have been five to three like that with no out so that was huge and you mentioned the strikeouts 10 strikeouts for the sooners they also strike out 10 of texas hitters uh, between maxwell and may but it, it's so weird, Hunter, because this team, most of the year, Oklahoma was hitting bombs at a pretty good rate. Now, you go back to the last week and a half, two weeks of the season, you're not getting as many home runs. But what even in this postseason tournament, Big 12 tournament, wasn't a whole lot of home runs for Oklahoma, but extra base hits, uh, timely hits, I'll take it any day over just a few bombs a game because I think it's more – uh, you're getting more just not a quick because they're they're those those games where they were doing that you would see five or six run innings like that with about three or four bombs and then you know nothing else the rest of the game so I love how they're hitting the ball right now opposite field extra base hit gap singles doubles uh, Kenzie Hansen almost had a triple so love to see it home runs will come but right now they seem to be hitting the ball really well yeah uh, again the last month of the season. They were slumping, like, really as a whole. I mean, you saw it even last week in those first two games in Oklahoma State. I know Jeremy's talked about it a lot, that that sixth inning where uh, it all started to click for the offense. And the ball's not getting out of the stadium as much, but uh, they are just dominating uh, with the small ball play. That's that's what you have to do at this time of the year uh, because, as you said, home runs – uh, you go a little cold, and that that could cost you the game if that's your only way of uh, putting a crooked number on the scoreboard. So those uh, timely base hits, I think you're going to see them uh, continue to uh, heat up. Yeah, and there you have it, guys. Sooner Nation, Oklahoma, Big 12 ch- tournament champions. Uh, perfect time to get going. Number one team in the nation, beat them 5-1. to one. Uh, huge, huge win for Oklahoma heading into the regionals. We'll find out tomorrow 
uh, the regionals and the postseason and everything. We're going to see it all tomorrow night. We'll have the coverage for you afterwards. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Turn on the notifications. You'll get a notification as soon as we go live or video, whatever it is. So make sure you do that. Also, check out fanstop.com. Use code SURGE. you get 10% off your first three months. Check them out. Officially licensed Oklahoma gear. Sooners, Big 12 champions. Last time we'll ever say that. Last time. Uh, appreciate you watching this video. Till next time. Boom.